Hello, NYWCites. I am the administrator of the NYWC Veterans Board, Robert Lottie, and I'm here with uh, one of my favorite NYWCites, lovely Leanne Shazam Denezo. Hi. <laughs> well, hotter than hell 2023 was very good. Unfortunately, that's that too big of a crowd. Yeah. That's un unreal, you know. I don't know what it takes. I know summer's usually a downtime for independent wrestling, but uh, I guess maybe other fans had plans and such. Yeah. Well, the show kicks off with um, Mike Mondo coming out, and he announces to the crowd that when NYWC debuts at The Space in Westbury as a part of The Space Between on Saturday, October 28th, that that very night they're going to, NYWC will be crowning their first ever Trios Champions. In case you didn't know what that was, Leanne, that means a three person team. Like, yeah. you know, a six person tag, six man tag, three on three basically. Yeah. All right. And he said there was going to be a tag team gauntlet match, and he said that he was going to sit by, sit back and watch, take notes about maybe the winning tag team would be his partners in the trios tournament, which will kick off uh, in September. And uh, so he sat, took a seat, and, and at that point, the, the, gauntlet, the tag team gauntlet got underway as the first team out was... Hold it. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Oh, yes. The first team out was A1G and Young Glory, Brando Lee. Or was it? Yeah, Brando Lee, I think it was. Not Brandon Lee. Yeah. As they took on Dirk Moore and Johnny Malloy, the Dirty Deeds. Um, the Dirty Deeds ended up defeating A1G and Young Glory, Brando Lee. The first part of the gauntlet. Next up, next team to come out was Nico Gray and Absolute Alvin Alvarez. And they were also defeated by the Dirty Deeds. The third team to come out was Dr. James Parker and Bad Brad Benson. Uh, Bad Brad actually came through, through the back door and through the crowd into the match, in case you didn't notice. Yeah. But unfortunately for that team, they also were um, eliminated by the Dirty Deeds and it's safe to say Dr. James the uh, Dr. James Parker it's safe to say that particular doctor was out okay next up was a tag team I apologize for not getting their names it was the the Wyatt Boys the Wild Boys they had a third guy out there with them but the Dirty Deeds ended up beating them as well so Dirty Deeds went through four tag teams in a gauntlet but then out came the next team which was Pat Fitzpatrick and Jameis C is QGTM, and they ended up defeating the Dirty Deeds. But then out came the final team, two men I hadn't seen before, and I don't think you saw them before either. Yeah. And they were known as the Inevitable, and they defeated uh, Queen QGTM to win the tag team gauntlet match, and Mike Mondo left his seat, and he was saying that maybe they will be his partners in the trio tournament, but also during his promo at the start of the show, you're saying maybe he'll, the winners will be his partners, maybe they won't. So, now I have to, oh, there you go. Ooh. All right. Okay. So, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> you didn't get your drink yet. Okay, so, you can, you can talk now. It's uh, about the, the, the tag team gauntlet match and open up the show. It's good. <laughs> Leanne, it was good to Nezzo. Seeing that Chris Perry likes when you say that, I don't know. Are you going to have your t-shirt next? Is he going to have a t-shirt with you on On the back says, I'm a Leanne Denezzo guy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Somebody was wearing my, my I'm a Robert Lottie guy t-shirt uh, tonight. Somebody that was helping out. Okay. Uh, next matchup, we saw the Greek god Papa Don take on solo specialist Giorgio Lawrence. Um, pretty good matchup here these guys had. And I don't know if this was Giorgio's first uh, singles match or not. 
But to my surprise, Giorgio Lawrence defeated the Greek god Papadon to pick up the victory. That's the match I just mentioned, the second match, Giorgio Lawrence defeating Papadon. Yeah. Your, your thoughts, I mean. That's good. I don't know. A woman of a few words, folks. <laughs> Next up was. Yeah. Okay. Next up was tag team action as we saw the big gun Nuke and JT Kaysen challenge Tommy Rat and Sage Chance to slime balls for the tag team championship. Um, pretty good match, and I noticed, I don't know if it was the heat of the building, but Nuke's uh, face paint was like really, really falling off and stuff. All right. Uh, eventually, uh, I forgot. Oh, well, Tommy Rant used a chair on Nuke's leg, and Sage Chance put a submission on Nuke tapped I'm out. Ready. Here you go, honey. And, and the rest is coming out, okay, love? Okay, great. And then uh, the slime balls attacked Nuke and Nuke up further after the match, and after they left the ring, uh, Nuke had to be helped by the other referees. Okay. Yeah, speak. It's a good match. The tag team title match where the slime balls attacked him afterwards. Okay. Next up, it was time for the Big O Pin Challenge. As the NYWC champion, the Big O, came to the ring and said that NYWC didn't know who, who to put in his way. And so Big O did the O Pin Challenge. And out came the, both slime balls, Tommy Rat and Sage Chance. And the referees told him, no, 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 guys. Only one of you could face him. And O was ready to face both of them, but out came the cause of it all, Joey Conway, for a coat and all. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting to it. Conway comes out, fur coat and all, he attacks Big O, and the match gets underway. And then Conway and O are going at it, and at one point, uh, yeah, at one point, um, I forgot, Conway was going for his uh, finishing move, but out came Mr. Main Event, Salvatore Savelli with his uh, Joker's Wild Battle Royal card, distracted Conway. Big O hit uh, Conway with a power slam, but the slide balls hit the ring, attacking Big O, causing a disqualification. Big O defeats Joey Conway by the DQ to retain the heavyweight championship. But then Salvatore Savelli, he uh, comes back in the ring. He, I'm sorry, Savelli saves O. And then Savelli hands the card, the Joker's wild card, to O and tells him he's cashing in his title shot next month on Saturday night, September 30th, when NYWC returns for Eminem's favorite show title. Hmm. Till I Collapse. Yeah. Yeah, I think Jessica likes that too, that show title. And, um, okay, your thoughts on that title matter up with the big O, as well as the craziness afterwards with the slime balls and Savelli announcing he's cashing in his title shot. That's good. Okay. Oh, they went to intermission at that point in time. Yeah. Um, we, you know, I mean, th yeah, it seems like their intermissions wrap up quick, I gotta say. Yeah, but the Mitch Grady show tonight. We'll get to him shortly. Okay. My dearest Uncle Ronald. Yes, <laughs> nephew Ronald. Yeah, might as well, might as well mention him since, uh, you know, <laughs> he's the reason, I mean, the reason we've been getting around. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, it's been two years since you and your sister met him. It's our anniversary, people. Well, your your anniversary meeting her and her sister. Okay, but the second half of the show, we kick off with singles competition as Mick Ortiz from your hometown, Huntington, and he went one-on-one -on -one with Christian Nunez. And not surprisingly, Christian Nunez put Mick Ortiz away in quick fashion. So, of course, Mick Ortiz debuted last month losing to Jay Red, the opening match. So, unfortunately, Mick Ortiz is now Owen, he's in the hole, hanging with the groundhog. Owen, too. 
But uh, I guess you don't think much of that matchup then. Yeah. Really? You don't have a comment to say on it? It was, it was good. <laughs> okay. Next up, wound up being wound up being a hardcore match as Bam the Rancid one, Bam Sullivan accompanied the ring by the creepy crawler mouse as Bam went one on one with Jay Red. And then we'll get to him after we get done recording because you didn't get catch his new theme. Okay? Yeah. But yeah, Bam brought a whole garbage can full of plunder, if you will. Yeah, I'm speaking like the late Dusty Rhodes now. And among objects that were in that can, I saw an actual baseball bat. Uh, you remember something or no? What? Did you remember something? You about to say something? Yeah. Um, okay. We had um, a barbed wire bat wrapped in barbed wire that the band used on J Red. Uh, he tried hitting J Red with a crutch, but he missed right in front of us when it hit the post. We had. Um, Bam. Um, oh, oh, he was hitting him with pizza pans. Pizza pans. <laughs> I know. Poor, there were poor pizza pans. Could have made some nice pizzas instead they ended up hitting over some of each other's head. And well, it ended. Oh, it ended when J Red um, hit uh, put the, put the garbage can over his head and did the bad Terminator off the top rope and pinned Bam Sullivan. To win the matchup, J Red has now won three matches in a row. Okay. Comment on that one. It's a good match. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's all that weaponry and stuff. Yeah. Next up was the mixed tag team matchup as nobody's better, Michael Mistretta. And the Starlet champion, Amity LeVay, did battle with Dolly Darko and Jorge La Bestia. A good mixed tag team match these two had. Uh, eventually, the end came when Dolly Darko pinned Amity LeVay in England. Dolly Darko and Jorge LaBestia to defeat Amity LeVay and nobody's better, Michael Mastretta. Oh. Yeah, but he didn't get pinned. Uh, so I don't know is this, what this could tell us. I mean, if they're, the whole thing is done, or maybe Dolly gets a title shot. She's proven she could pin the Starlet Champion. And the first time Amity got pinned. Okay, so. Your thoughts on that mixed tag team match? It's good. Okay. All right. Next up, we had our final title match of the night. As if you, as we saw making his return, Aiden Bale challenged Dan Barry for the Fusion Championship. Ah, uh, very good matchup. <laughs> These guys had. Uh, Uh, good match these guys had. Uh, they shook hands after it was over, but then out through the back door and over the guardrail came this big muscular dude. Uh, Bale tried to, to uh, attack him, but this guy took Bale down with a blue thunder bomb, left him laying in the middle of the ring, and then he left through over the rail through the crowd out the back door. Your thoughts on that matchup as well as what happened afterwards? It was good. Okay. And then, to my surprise, it was, well, this wound up the main event since it went on last as Fifth Chorus and Seth and Michael Cortez, the Audacity, did battle with Unstoppable Izzy McKenna and the Shillelagh Hitmen fighting Jack Morrissey and Satanta Fury. Quite a match these, these six had. Uh, at one point, Izzy was all a roll, but one half of the Audacity hit her with a chair. She was bouncing off the rope. The referee called for the bell. Not sure it was, I guess, no contest is if no winner was officially declared. But all of a sudden, uh, I know Fifth Chris had taken a crowbar. He hit, hit uh, Morrissey with it. And the Audacity handcuffed the hitmen to the ropes. And then... Really? Uh, what she said, what she did. Handcuffed? I think the first time it happened. So then, yeah, okay. And then the Audacity pulled out a piece of like uh, metal like that would be inside a steel cage and it was put up on four 
chairs, and fifth person Audacity did like I guess a shield style triple power bomb on Izzy onto that gate or cage set up on the four chairs. But in the meantime, Morrissey had taken that crowbar and he was untying the the, the hook that looks to take the turnbuckle to the ring post, and it, it, it loosened him up. And he tried to hit those guys with the the hook of that turnbuckle. And then he screamed for ring announcer Justin Gentile for the microphone. And and um, Morrissey said, you guys want to use handcuffs? You want to use, cage? You want to use a cage? How about this? September 30th, cuffed and caged. Which is one of the signature matches of the New York Wrestling Connection. We'll get back to that next show shortly. But it's time for personal notes. It's great seeing Tommy and his girlfriend, Robin. Uh, Charlie, who was working the door, and he was the one who unhandcuffed the guys at, at the end of the main event. Yeah. Um, who else I saw? Aaron, the photographer. Uh, oh, James and his daughter, Brianna. Really he helped. Uh, who else can I think of that I saw here? I am, not all the fans made it. I know that, but... Um, mm -hmm. Now... By the way, of course, we know out by the back door there's a, there was a food truck. Yeah. And you know, Tommy and Robin went out there, and it's I don't and I checked with both of them after like after later in the show, and it, I guess it's safe to say that the the service was slow as shit. <laughs> right there, S A S, slow as shit. Yeah. Slow as shit, slow as shit, slow as shit, <laughs> slow as shit. Or should I? Or, or here's another one. Lazy fucks, lazy fucks, lazy fucks. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> All right. Um, oh, well, here's a memorable quote. I was the only one. Wait. Here it comes. Get my fingers in there. I was the only one rooting for you, and now I hate you. That one fan who J Red took his hat off and tried to throw it out the back door. <laughs> I think it was like when he was out on the floor early in his match, I think. All right. Uh. Right after the mixed tag team match, it was uh, up on the screen. We saw this promo about a guy, and I couldn't quite hear him. But they showed his logo at the end. Someone simply known as Quite Frank. I'm not sure if his real name is even Frank, but uh, apparently it's you know it's a vignette of someone coming soon. But I don't know if he's going to debut uh, next month or maybe October 28th, and we'll get to that shortly as well. Um, Gracie and Shane ringing out to Justin Gentile. Mm, a lot of people were, a lot of fans were not there to see this show for some reason. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can understand, you know, like I said, summer's like a downtime for independent wrestling. Alrighty? Yeah. Well, now it's time to plug, Leanne. No, we're not plugging anything into an electrical outlet. <laughs> no. We're not talking about phones. But. New York Wrestling Connection returns to action next Saturday night, August 26th, as they present... Beep, 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 beep. Uh oh It's the beep, beep, beep. Uh -oh. Beep, beep. Uh -oh. Okay. okay, so next Saturday night, August 6th, 26th... August... Beep, 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 beep. Uh -oh. Next Saturday, August 26th, as they present Anarchy in the Alley from the Selden Fire Department. And the only match that's been announced so far will be Jay Red taking on the Creepy Crawler Mouse. Unfortunately, we're not going to be at that show. But they return home, back home to New York, to the NYWC Sportatorium in Deer Park on Saturday night, September 30th, as they present Till I Collapse. <laughs> and my favorite show title, and that pretty much based on that date, officially they kick off their fall season. The summer will be over by that point. Yeah. And that's three days after your birthday. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um, Okay, well, as we already know, already announced for that show, the Big O will be defending the championship against Mr. Main Event, Salvatore Savelli, and in a return bout from tonight, it will be, once again, the fifth... Oh, that's her? That's me. Wait, don't even get... I know, we're almost done. We're almost done with it. Yeah, we're almost done with it. Okay. Okay, uh, watch your food then, darling. All right, uh, as I said, uh, no, sorry, a return bout from tonight as once again the Fiskaris and the Audacity, Seth and Maga Cortez, will do battle with Unsolvable Izzy McKenna and 
Satata Fury and Fighting Jack Moore see the Shillelagh Hitman in a Coffin Cage match. Okay? Yeah. Now, I would like to see at the next event, maybe maybe Christian Nunez one-on-one -on -one with nobody's better Michael Mastretta. <laughs> uh, any matches, based on what we saw tonight, any matches you'd like to see? Just look over tonight's lineup and you, you can figure it out. Hey, you figure out what you'd like to see. say a little more here I, mean, I know you enjoy the shows and all um, but um, I, I gotta say I mean is it NYWC on the Thursday night is it is the Thursday night shows history they used to do Thursday night shows in the months of July and August in the past but didn't do happen this year and for the fourth show in a row Commissioner Keith O'Ringer was not in attendance I don't know what's going on if he's been so busy or if we're ever gonna see him on a show again I mean, a lot of people we did not see on this show. We didn't see Dickie Rods. We didn't see... Mike Mono didn't wrestle. We didn't see Dickie Rods. We didn't see... Uh, others we didn't see that were there last time and such. We didn't see... Hmm? Well, Mouse didn't wrestle. I guess that's pretty much what I, I had said. I mean, what I went through. Uh, don't know who the slime, the slime Balls will be next for their the tag team title reign. Who will be next to challenge them. And Dan Barry and Big O have been holding their respective singles belts ever since Psycho Circus. No word on when they'll be defeated that I can think of. Unless Salvatore Savelli does win over the Big O September 30th. But overall, Leanne, your thoughts on How to the Hell 2023 as a show in general? It's good. All right. Do I have to ask the question? Why? Regarding the next show on September 30th. <laughs> no, you don't know, usually right before these videos wind down. I usually ask for you, you and your sister about... about the next show. Yeah. Okay, well, there you have it. She'll be there Saturday, September 30th. I'll be coming Saturday, September 30th. Hopefully, Jessica makes it Saturday, September 30th. Yeah. Hopefully, a lot of fans make it, especially the return of Cuffed and Cage, Salvatore Savelli, cashing in his title shot against the Big O, and who knows what other hectic stuff they're going to have. Oh, one thing, there was supposed to be another announcement regarding the October 28th show at the space in Westbury, but it, it was never made. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, did something go wrong here? But uh, I will say, you know, another good time and, you know, things will, will certainly be picking up, I think, come next show. All right, now, I know you probably won't say the letters with me, but here I go. NYWC, NYWC, NYWC. NYWC rules, and uh, at least we'll see, she and I'll see you September 30th. Okay. okay, just smile as we go off. No, no, smile as we go off. We're, 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 it's, the video's ending right now. Fine. Okay.